I can't find the words how amazing it is to see you all finally here. <laughs> but finally, I can put the faces to all the names that I've been watching for months and months. And just thank you all for coming. And it's completely amazing to us and a great honor that you all decided to come to Budapest and take part in the second edition of the one and only Hungarian BP tournament. Yeah. So as you know, tonight is basically just the opening ceremony, no debate for you guys yet, but don't worry because the tomorrow morning is going to arrive very soon, very, very, very soon. Uh, but what we're doing tonight is essentially, uh, we're, the two of us, by the way, this is Kristina Georgieva from CEU, she is your convener from CEU. And uh, my name is Jofi or Sofi or whatever you prefer really, and I'm the convener for Corvinus University. Uh, and uh, first of all, we're gonna tell you some of the basic stuff which sh you should know about the tournament. And then we are going to have a presentation about Central Europe University, the wonderful university that we are all at now, and we have a lot to thank them for, so um, we'll have that as well. Oh, Milan has come back. Hi, Milan. <laughs> Uh, and after that, we are going to have a show debate by our wonderful chair judges and, yeah, and invited judges. Uh, and after that, we're going to go to the social. And I actually expected Timmy to be here, but she already had to go because now I'm, instead of her, I, I hoped it, he, she could be here just to announce the social because it's all thanks to her. I don't know if all of you know Timmy, you should know her. She should be your queen and she, you should basically love and adore her like a queen because she's amazing. She made so much of this tournament happen, I can't even believe it. <laughs> so what is going to happen tonight, we finish here the show debate at 9 p.m. And at 9 p.m. we leave T CU for a short walk to walk to Vigadote, which is right next to the Danube. And we're going to get on a cruise boat and we're going to go on a nighttime cruise on the Danube, with champagne included. <laughs> Mm, yeah, uh, so that's what's going to happen tonight. Afterwards, we advise everyone to get back to the hotel immediately, basically, and get a good night's sleep, because tomorrow morning, you are definitely getting a wake-up call at 7 a.m., but it's even better if you are already up by 7 a.m. and you go down and have breakfast and stuff, uh, because everybody, everybody has to be out of the hotel and walking towards CU by 8 a.m., and the schedule is going to be very strict, and if anyone is not here, uh, like, five minutes, yeah, I think we give five minutes leeway. The first round starts at 9.30, but before that, we're still going to have some registration and roll call and some briefing and stuff. So if anyone's not here at 9.35, you're cut from the tab, and we're very sorry, but that's the way life is. So please, please treat the schedule as your Bible. You have to keep it at all times, basically. Anyway, would you like to... Yeah, basically, now that we heard all the fun things that we're going to do tonight, there's some not so fun things that we have to mention to you. So first of all, these accreditation cards, you have to keep them with you during the entire time. So you cannot get into any venue, you cannot get into CEU tomorrow morning if you don't have this accreditation card. So please make sure that you have it. Please, if you see your teammate or whatever without an accreditation card, send them back to the hotel immediately. And then, as Jofi already mentioned, you have to be here on time. There will be some of the people from the organization committees and volunteers who help you to get from the hotel to see you in case you don't know the way, which is very probable. So you can recognize them either by the card or some of them may be wearing a white t-shirt with the green BPO logo on it. So yeah, please follow them and uh, make groups of 15 people so that they can take all of you together. And uh, the other thing is that the auditorium is an area that we should keep clean. So whenever we have coffee breaks and all these kind of things, please Please do not take any coffees, drinks, foods, whatever inside. There will be plenty enough time to have the drinks outside. And um, for those of you who are not familiar with CEU, basically the debates will take uh, place in uh, the rooms in this building only, and then there will be two other rooms. But uh, there will be signs showing the way to the rooms. So, and the other thing is that. 
Uh, because we only have two elevators in the building, please only take the elevator if you really need to or if you're going to a very high up floor, because otherwise we have a lot of delays and people won't have enough time to prep. So please use the elevators wisely. And, and yeah, use the stairs a lot. Yeah. And yeah, use the stairs a lot, obviously. <laughs> So it's going to be a lot of fun, guys. Be prepared. So now we will hear the motion for the show debate and and draw for positions. And while our debaters are preparing, we'll hear the presentation from the CEO recruitment office. And please, I think I would like to ask you to leave the first row free for the show debaters so that they can sit there and reach the spot easily. Yeah, but we could still say The boat trip lasts one hour from half past nine to half past ten and afterwards we're going to walk back to the hotel again. The hotel is very, very, very close to the place from where the boat lives. It's basically like one tram stop, the equivalent of that. And if I may add one more thing to the things that you should not do, is that you should not party in the hotel. And basically even a couple of beers is still not good permitted in the hotel so that uh, we keep the rooms nice and clean and they will accommodate you again next year. So, yeah, please. Yeah, please. No vomiting, no nothing. <laughs> For the sake of the future of this tournament, we have a very good relationship with the current hotel. I think the hotel is very nice. I hope you will like it too. We would like to be a partner with this hotel for many, many more years, so please keep that in mind. And now, here to basically introduce the draw is Mr. Alfred Snyder, Tuna. Woo! What a group of amazing debaters we have. Uh, I would like one of the teams to come forward. I don't want to prioritize in any way. Lily, would you come forward with your partner? Who are you debating with? Who are you debating with? Milan. Milan, okay. <laughs> First prop. Milan, Milan. 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 Milan
sorry. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Hi. So sorry. Uh, just to let you know, we're not going to have a break now. Now we're going to hear from senior recruitment office. Yeah. So please, uh, let's pay attention and let's listen very carefully because CU is a great university and it's helping us a lot with this tournament. So. Is this working? Yes, this is. Uh, good night, everybody. Uh, welcome to Budapest and welcome to see you. Um, I had uh, the. Mm, I was w watching and, and listening to you, and I was wondering. I know I have seen the list, the preliminary guest list, and I was wondering whether you all know each other, because it looks to me like it's a it's a it's a coherent group, but it's not probably right. Oh, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. So, um, how many of you are? Um, how for how many of you is this the uh, first time in? Budapest. Woo! Majority, okay, good. Okay, well, um, I could hear that um, you are going to, you are looking forward to a very exciting and busy three days or a few days um, here in Budapest, and I hope that you will um, enjoy it and you will be able to make the most out of it. I'm here tonight because our office, I work for the Student Recruitment and Marketing Office of the University of CEU, and this is the second time that this tournament is organized here, I guess, right? And last year, we were the ones uh, who also um, supported this tournament. Um, and I was thinking that um, it, you, you, you might find it useful to um, learn a little bit about the university, which is um, uh, a host of this event, I think a very important event. Um, so I was going to... Um, say a few words about the university, give you a, a brief background of what this institution is about and what it has to offer. And I was thinking that at the, at the end of the presentation, I'm going to show you a short video, which was um, made out of a, a longer movie, which was created last year for the 20th anniversary of CEU. Um, and which um, displays the most important aspects of this institution. Um, so first, I'm going to walk through the walk you through to, to the uh, through the, uh, the the history of the institution and show you what kind of things uh, we have to offer. I think that one reason why we support this debate tournament um, now for the second time, and 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 I hope that we are going to be able to do that in the future as well, is that. Um, um, the debate tournament is something, it, it, it's, a, it's a very important event um, which um, proves once again that CU is accepting or is looking for students who um, not only believe but also represent and show in practice how important it is um, to solve conflicts through debate. And I also hope that, I, I personally also hope that um, you are going to apply these things that you, that you can do so professionally in public in your personal lives. Um, so let's see uh, a few quick facts about the university. It was founded in 1991, so more than 20 years ago, by George Soros. Um, and the idea was to create uh, an institution which um, provides a high quality English language education for graduate students from all around the world. But I have to say that at that time when this university was founded, the idea was to gather uh, students, capable, talented students from um, Central Europe, the former Soviet Union, uh, the Caucasus, and Central Asia. And you will see later on in the presentation that this um, 
regional uh, target has grown a lot larger since then, and now we have uh, uh, 1,500 students from almost 100 countries and all five continents um, with no national predominance. I think that many universities can pride themselves of having uh, an international community of students, but CU is really outstanding in the sense that um, the biggest uh, national uh, group in the university are Hungarians, but they only account for between 15 and 20 percent of the whole university. And everybody else comes from all those other 99 or whatever, 92 countries. Um, we also take pride in a very varied and colorful and, and nationally diverse uh, faculty. Uh, they come from over 40 countries and the, the number of um, uh, permanent uh, faculty is three is uh, 300 and we offer a number of, of graduate degrees from um, MAs to MSCs to legal um, masters and, and, and PhDs and legal PhDs and also we have a business school which uh, which offers different MBA programs. Um, we host 15, 14 academic departments uh, and two schools. Uh, one, the CU Business School, is the one of the oldest of the whole university, uh, while the School of Public Policy is the newest member of the CU community. It was founded last year and is going to launch a new MPA program in um, September 2013. Um, why I said that um, I'm, I'm glad that we have this opportunity to, to support uh, the debate tournament is that I think that debate in itself is very much in line with the basic values of CEU. Um, if you look at the, uh, the mission and the values that uh, CEU declared when it, when, when it was founded back in 1991, you will see that it's very much um, in line with what uh, debate tournament is about. Um, so open, so the, all the values of open society and democratization, um, the rule of law and gov good governance, uh, critical thinking, this is also um, reflected in our teaching methods and the everyday practices in, in, in the classrooms. Um, and also um, see you would like to, um, to, to, to seem as an innovative um, institution uh, and also one which um, um, facilitates and encourages uh, interdisciplinarity. If we look at the programs that we offer, you will see that uh, we have, I, like I mentioned before, we have 14 departments which uh, are mostly in the area of, um, of social sciences and humanities. Um, and all of the departments offer um, uh, at least one master's degree, some of them two masters, um, and, uh, and a PhD. Um, we also host uh, two, uh, actually more, Erasmus programs, joint programs, consortium programs, which are in cooperation with other um, European universities, and these are very, very popular. Um, and um, we also, um, I'm not going to list all the departments uh, that you can see them in, on the slide. Um, I, I will just mention that the newest department is the Department of Cognitive Science, uh, which currently has runs a PhD program, and. Um, uh, there are some, some other ones which are mentioned in the slides which have not even started. Um, the business school is going to launch a Master in Finance in 2000, January 2014, and we are going to launch next to the MPA, to the Master in Public Administration degree, we are going to launch a Master in Cultural Heritage uh, delivered by the Department of History. Um, 
One more thing that has to be mentioned here is that obviously CEU also is part of the Bologna Accord and as such uh, we, because we have to cater for the needs of so many students from, from all five continents who are, who are coming from different um, um, academic systems, um, we have to cater for those students who have a bachelor's degree of three years and also those who have a bachelor's of four years. So that's why most of the departments have a, a master's degree of one year and another one of two years um, so that we can accommodate different needs. Um, one thing that by by which you can measure the the, the quality of the university is the, the the excellence or the quality of the faculty of the faculty members and and, and I have uh, brought to you um, uh, a few facts which uh, which show that we do have a very distinguished faculty. Um, so we have over 130 permanent and um, and even more visiting professors from all over the world. And even our alumni say that one of the big assets of the university is um, not only the students and the faculty members who are always here, but also um, this opportunity of networking. Um, CU hosts uh, more than 300 public events every year by distinguished scholars and um, experts of the field. Um, and our students find um, this a very um, good opportunity to network with people from all around the world and across uh, disciplines and areas. Um, obviously, um, our faculty members have um, hold PhD degrees from uh, prestigious schools uh, from all around the world. And another um, way to show uh, the academic excellence of a university is how much, uh, how um, the, the amount uh, of, uh, of funds or money that they manage to um, to be granted uh, for research and. Um, CU um, gets over 10 million euros um, in EU research funding. <coughs> Teaching style. This is again something that I think is very much in line with uh, the um, most important aspects of, uh, of debate and debate society. Um, we have small seminar style courses and because we have a student faculty ratio of seven to one and in some PhD programs even less than that, we can allow um, or is it, po it is possible for students to have a constant access to professors um, and um, you know find open doors and um, have the possibility of, uh, of, of uh, discussing their questions and problems and consulting with faculty members all the time see you students what I would like to say about our students is that they, um, I already mentioned that they come from various uh, parts of the world, from uh, almost 100 countries and spanning five continents. We are very proud of this because it does um, provide a very rich learning environment. I think that uh, apart from learning from, the, from your professors, and this is probably true for your own universities as well, and you experience it every day, that apart from learning from your own professors, a big part of the of the learning experience comes from working together with others, working, learning from your peers, and learning from their personal styles and also from their cultures. And this is very much true true for CU. Um, the most um, represented, uh, well represented countries are obviously Hungary, I mentioned that already, Romania, it's from the region, the US, because the university is accredited in the United States, um, Russia, Ukraine, Croatia, Germany, Serbia. Um, I have to say that um, not only the region but also Western Europe is represented as far as Europe is concerned and we are coming up in Asia and Africa. Africa, um, North America, not only the US, but um, Canada, too. And um, our recruitment efforts are, are, are trying to reach uh, 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 over, even further away. 
Um, one thing which is um, which is very peculiar about CU is that it was founded by uh, by by a man who was able to donate uh, a large endowment to the university, and we are very fortunate to be able to give uh, very generous scholarships and fellowships, so financial aid to the best students, and we are very for in a very fortunate position to pick these uh, best students. Um, so you can see a few figures here, which I'm not going to say because they are already displayed. But what's important for you to know is if you are thinking of, um, of taking your studies further is that um, if you come to see you um, right now um, and in the past uh, it has been so, um, it's about 3% of the student body who is self-funded and everybody else receives some, receives some kind of financial aid. And this can range from partial uh, tuition waivers or tuition scholarships to a full CU fellowship, which includes a full tuition waiver, accommodation at the CU Residence Center, and um, medical insurance and a monthly stipend. Depending on whether it's a full or partial fellowship, obviously the uh, the amount of the stipend also changes. Um, but this makes it possible for students, uh, for the best students from all around the world to study and not to have to worry about the financial side. Um, a few things about the application. We are in the middle or actually closer to the end of the application cycle for um, September 2013. Uh, our application, general application deadline was at the end of January. Our Erasmus Mundus programs uh, had their application deadline at the beginning of January. Uh, but in general, we can say that most MAs and MSCs and, and PhDs and um, also have their, their deadline at the end of uh, January. Results are usually announced in April and um, uh, classes start in, in, in September. Um, the business school is, a, is on a slightly different schedule because they have a rolling admissions. Um, this is briefly what I wanted to say, and I, I'm, I would not like to take more um, uh, of your time away. Um, this is our contact information, and I have brought a few interest cards. So just in case anybody is thinking already about their master's or a second master's or a PhD, uh, please consider us. I, I hope that the next video that I'm going to show you is also um, going to support the the things that I just said. Um, so if you feel like uh, leaving your contact details with us for further, for, to get further information, then please feel free at the end of all this to come to the, to the front and, and, and fill in an interest card. This one. Um, and um, thank you for your attention.